Well, let's go. That to, is the choice. Let's go to that because you both have said there's going to be a new, a new revitalized Europe, but you have a horrible demographic problem in Europe. There are no babies being born here. And the new, the new 10 countries have even a worse demographic record than the Western 15 countries do. How is Europe going to revitalize itself? Well, one of the reasons that we have a low birth rate in Europe is uh, it's very expensive to have babies. Yeah. Secondly, in well, Eastern Europe... That's true everywhere. In, in, well, in Asia, it's not that expensive to have babies. In Eastern Europe, and the divorce laws are very unfavorable in Western Europe, that would have to change so that people would, again, be more inclined to be married because the risk would be lessened. But in, uh, say, Eastern Europe and in Russia, the birth rate was very low because of economic conditions. If economic conditions improve... But Spain was poor, as, the, as Tony points out. They got much more prosperous. They have the lowest birth rate in Europe. Look, couldn't agree more uh, because you have this huge social welfare system, yeah. call it what social safety net, what you will, but you don't have any young workers coming in because there's nobody being born. How does Europe survive? Under well, present, present projections, there will be no Spanish in a hundred years. Well, you're absolutely right. So let's have a look again at the birth rate, which I agree with you, is, is, is approaching, <coughs> approaching to a point where we can say it's becoming a disaster. And some projections show that in 30 years time, the average age uh, in, um, in Europe will be 15 to 20 years older than in the US. So we are approaching a, uh, a disaster scenario. But let's analyze why people don't want babies anymore in Europe. Well, first of all, and I agree with you, having children are ver is very expensive. Secondly, with our elaborate social welfare states, we in a way have replaced the family. In the old days, if you had a problem, you would go to your brother or your sister, your mother or to your child. Uh, nowadays, Governments are saying, come to me, because I have a social worker for this problem, and I have a, 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 another expert for that problem. And what we need to do again is say to the people of Europe, look, you are smart, you're intelligent, you take charge of your own life. But most people don't want to give up those, those benefits which they've been promised. I agree with you. They're outrageous benefits. But how are you going to say to them, we're not going to give you what you promised? Well, it's, uh, it's something very simple. What we need in Europe is leadership. People who say, who can explain in clear terms to the people of Europe, look, short term there will be pain. However, longer term the gains will out, outweigh that. For that, you need leadership. Do you see any on the horizon? Uh, <laughs> you don't have to name names if you don't no. want to, but... Uh...